Now this has been a long time coming folks, it is the long awaited successor to the entry level GeForce GT 710. And well it's finally here, introducing the Nvidia GeForce GT 1010. Now the GeForce GT 1010 is the most entry level graphics card in the Nvidia GPU lineup which is based on the Pascal architecture and is primarily meant for display adapter solutions for low tier setups or home theater PCs. Now this was spotted by video cards with the help of YouTuber DAPS and Tech Power Up. The Nvidia GeForce GT 1010 is an entry level graphics card that is based on a several year old architecture at this point. Now the card is still considered an upgrade over the aging GeForce GT 710 which is based on the Kepler architecture and the GeForce GT 1010 was listed over Nvidia's driver webpage under the GeForce 10 series family. Now the GeForce GT 1010 also shares the same architecture as the rest of the GeForce 10 series which is Pascal but an entry level chip which is the GP 108 SKU. Now this chip features 256 CUDA cores which are clocked at a base frequency of 1228 MHz and a boost clock of 1468 MHz. And it also features two gigabytes of GDDR5 VRAM, which runs across a whole huge whopping 64-bit bus interface. And the card is said to feature a TDP of 30 watts. So it won't rely on any external power connectors, you know, on top of being super tiny. Or as you can glean from the specifications, the NVIDIA GeForce GT 1010 is nothing fancy, and, but should be useful for HTPC setups that don't feature display outputs or require some extra power for video playback and streaming. The card will feature two DVI and a single mini HDMI output for the display connectivity by default but can be configured to, based on the vendor uh, how they choose to do it. There is no word on pricing of the graphics card but the GT710 is available for around $50 to $60 so the GT1010 should fall in the same price range. As for availability, it's not confirmed if the card will be an OEM only variant or will come to the consumer DIY segment like the GT710 did but we do believe the latter would most likely be the case and we for one would love to see a fish variant of the GeForce GT 1010 by Galax. Now again, I want to reiterate this. There are realistic uses for cards like this. So the 710 was a very popular card amongst IT professionals, somewhat like the G back in the day with the 8400 GS. So these are very easy to throw in, low powered graphic solutions that should last for years on end for people who have older systems that may have a CPU without an iGPU. There's a lot of those on the market. And well, quite frankly, these are pretty useful for overclockers as well, just to put in and use for diagnostics purposes. And when you just need a display out and you don't really trying to do 3D overclocking, you're just doing CPU, big, big boon there. Love to hear your thoughts on this down below. Do you keep something like this uh, in a drawer somewhere? I for one do. I have an old graphics card that is low tier. It has a display port just in case I need to diagnose something. Or if, I don't know, just never know anything my, my, my GPU does. I don't know. Love to hear your thoughts on that one down in the comment section below. And for more on this and other news, follow the link in the description and make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that we don't miss you in the next one.